Greetings, this is Ollie, the sporadically employed climate scientist from Chichester, here speaking on behalf of Bevlor. If you've been in the beverage industry for more than 10 minutes and you're not familiar with Artal, you should hang your head in shame. Or your boss should just put your head in a stock. After all, I am Ollie and I'm only peripherally connected to your fancy American wine and spirits industry. And even I know what Artal is. Artal stands for Allowable Revisions to Approved Labels. It can save you weeks of waiting for a new approval. It can save you the pain of another rejection. It can save you the time and cost of yet another submission. Not least, it can even save you after the fact of having too few approvals. Artal has been around for decades, but didn't have its snappy title until recently. The list gets longer every couple of years as the TTB periodically struggles with far more labels than the agency can handle. On many days, TTB gets around 500 labels. And even though the US government has millions of employees, there is one beer guy. And only a total of about a dozen other people to look at these labels. This means each person has to review around 50 a day. That's easy for just another bud label, but less easy when it comes to your pumpkin porter pot label. The full and current Artal list can be found here. The full link is also in the description below. And a scintillating blog post about the same can be found here. Again, the link is in the description below. And now for that sad sack who hasn't heard of Artal after all his years and hanging his head in shame. I'm pleased to break it down just for you. But somehow you've managed not to get the gist despite TTB's many attempts to explain it. Not to mention Robert's scintillating blog post can be found here and in the description below. You know who you are, and I'm determined to fix it right now. Hence, without further ado, a la the illustrious Casey Kasem, here is a run-through of the allowable changes. Drum roll, please. <coughs> okay, stop. Stop it. Number one. Delete non-mandatory, but do not delete the warning. Number two. Move text and graphics. Do not move the class or type statement to the back. Number three. Change colors, shape and size of labels, Type sizes and fonts. Do not make the statement about artificial colours four points. White on silver. Spelling and punctuation. Or from paper to etch to painted, etc. Here's the short version for those of you who are already bored or edgy. Yes, Artal will allow you to change lots of stuff on your labels without any need of a new label approval. And now, for those more patient, fine tune the stated percentages for grape varietal and appellations. Oh no, is that a wine only rule? Come on, guys. I'm the beer guy. I don't want to be associated with such wine-only trivialities. Number five, add, change, or delete the vintage date. Hang on, another wine one. Ah, we need to put some subliminal messages in here to bring the guys back from the dark side. Buy more beer. Number six, fiddle with the terms produced by versus cellared by versus vinted by. Number seven, Monkey with the acid levels or pH levels. Number eight, futz with the sugar content. How does futz mean? Number nine, add or delete permit numbers. Number 10, revise the net content statement, but do not change it all the way to a keg of tequila. Number 11, play around with the alcohol content for ordinary drinks, such as wine or spirits, but do not go below 80 proof for vodkas or whiskies. Number 12, play around with the alcohol content for the king of beverages. Beer. But don't make it huge. Number 13. Tweak the name of the commodity from which a spirit is distilled and the percentages. Number 14. Transmogrify an age statement for spirits. And number 15. Transmogrify an age statement for wine or beer. Number 16. Rework beer labels to comply with state law. What's that? 18 to go. Oh, we're going to need an intermission. If you want to go to the bathroom, get some popcorn, get yourself a drink, feel free. We'll take a little 15 second break now. Number 17. Adjust the calories, carbohydrates, fats, proteins indicated. Number 18. Trifle with bottling dates, expiration dates, freshness information. Number 19, switch out the DBA or trade name, or minor address changes. Number 20, update the name or address of the foreign supplier. 21, go ahead and adjust the name of the person for whom bottled, such as the wholesaler or the retailer. Number 22, 
Do what you want with deposit information. Number 23. Manipulate UPC and other barcodes. Number 24. Change up web addresses and coin artifacts such as zip codes or fax. Number 25. Transubstantiate the batch numbers. What? Number 26. Go hog wild with trademark and copyright symbols. Throw in a kosher symbol for good measure. If you really want to clutter up your label, add the Facebook icon, one for MySpace, Twitter, oh, and your company logo too. Number 27. Meddle with information about awards or medals. Number 28. Recalibrate your seasonal salutations. Number 29. Change information about annual and semi-annual events. No word yet on sesquicentennial events. You can also change sponsorship information. Number 30. Have your way with rating information. Number 31. Delete organic claims. Number 32. Improve your sulfite statement. Number 33. Tamper with information about batch size. And last, but not least, drum roll please. Yeah. Yeah. 34. Tell people what to do. With the bottle. Just to shake well. If you play this video one more time, you should be able to memorise that list. In order. And in French. But if not, consult this video from time to time for your own edification. And so you don't deprive your company from the power of Artal. If this list is too long and arduous for you, we'd be happy to do an Artal assessment for you. You need to keep in mind there are various limitations with this list, and uh, laws and regulations do take precedence. Sometimes too, states or wholesalers, or even US Customs, have been known to say we don't care about Art, or Al, or Artal. As we said back in 2012, Artal can be like a chainsaw. That is, Artal is powerful, like a chainsaw, and it can do great things when used carefully, and make big problems when used improperly. We hope this video can benefit your company and save you from hurting yourself. I've been Ollie, and I'll see you next time. Or at the pub. Almost certainly at the pub. Please don't be a knobhead, or assume we represent any of the brands or companies shown, unless we say so. Trademarks belong to their respective owners, even if I wish some belong to me. Do not consult only YouTube or Ollie if you want good legal advice.